Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Vintage Jewelry Galore. <clears throat> if you're new here, my name is Anna. And I show jewelry that I pick up all over town and online. <laughs> In thrift stores, estate sales, online, um, also antique stores. I show the jewelry and I sell it. I also collect jewelry as well. I am a fairly new um, jewelry collector and seller. I have two years under my belt soon and I'm learning a lot over that period of time, starting to source better jewelry as I go along. So um, I'm going to show some jewelry that I picked up yesterday and today at several different locations. It's not as much jewelry as I typically show, but I like what I picked out and I think you should, may like it too. At least I hope you do. Let me know down in the comment section if there's anything in particular you think is pretty cool that I show here today. So I have, um, this jewelry is for sale. If you see anything that you like, you may email me at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com and we can discuss possibility of buying something. There are a couple of things that won't be for sale. I'll show you what they are, but everything else is up for grabs. I will have some of this jewelry at my Thrifty Thursday sale tomorrow. Tomorrow, um, which is a Thursday, on it's July the 7th, at 12 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow, I will be live here on my channel from 12 p.m. Eastern Time to approximately 2 to 3, depending on how long it takes to go through. Some of this jewelry will be here as long as, as well as some of the jewelry I showed Monday and some other jewelry as well. I have a lot of jewelry that I can offer. On Thrifty Thursdays, I start my items at $5 and typically go up to 30 and I bring some names. I'll bring I usually have a little Trafari, a little vintage Monet, some Crown Trafari as well, um, and Klein, some stone, some sterling silver, some unique pieces, some figural jewelry. Um, I bring, you know, things that I believe people would be interested in, and I offer them at really great prices for nice, nice jewelry. I handpick my jewelry myself. I, I, when I am, I attempt to get in the best condition that I possibly can for the jewelry. And I have had many compliments on the jewelry that I sell to people at that price. But anyways, at any price, you know. I also come on Mondays. Mondays, um, I am on 8 p.m. Eastern time here on my channel from approximately 8 to 10 or 11, depending on how long it takes me and how much jewelry I have um, to get through. So, again... Email me if you see anything you like. I'm going to get started here. Uh, my email is also in, just in the description section of my video. And um, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern Time here on my channel. Tomorrow again, it's Thursday, July the 7th. And again, 12 p.m. Eastern Time. So, I've been collecting uh, comedy tragedy items. I love that ring. One side's happy. And... The other side is not so happy. He's sad. It's comedy tragedy. Like the, let's put him on the happy side. You know, a feeder, comedy tragedy. I have a pair of earrings that I got off a young a lady um, from, she's a fellow um, Hudson, in the Hudson Vintage community over on Facebook. She actually does do some theater, this young lady. Well, she's younger than me, I think. Her name's Kate. But she had these earrings and I really wanted them, and so she sold them to me. Because they are screw back. So if they were Paris, she probably would have kept them herself. <laughs> Since she's in theater. But I have a number of items. Um, well, she does local theater, I think, in her town. I don't know exact details of it. Um, but I have a number of pieces now. I've been collecting them. Pretty cool. I like the way these ones look. Pretty realistic. I also love the ring. Okay, I've had the ring for a while. I got that from Thelma over on Thelma Thrift. She has auctions on Facebook. All right. I'm going to keep those. And I'm going to keep the frog. Look at this. I have... A mouse or a rat, I don't know what to call it, that matches this, and a bird. Isn't that adorable? So that's a frog. I collect frogs. Frogs, clowns, just stirred the comedy tragedy guy. Uh, collecting those as well. But I think that's adorable. Okay, so this is sterling silver and amber. Green. Uh, con I don't know, honey and... It's amber. Three different colors of amber, and it is sterling silver. And I think it's just a size six. If anybody does buy anything, I typically send you pictures um, prior to the sale as well. We give you measurements and so forth as a reminder. So this is, a, you know, with pre-sales. Oh, another quick note. I pre-sell in my haul videos. I typically have a haul video every Wednesday, every Friday, 
and sometimes on Saturdays if I find good estate sales to go to. So that's an amber ring, size six, cool. I don't know if these are sterling or not, I have to test them, but they're pretty cool. I believe they're, I, I don't know much about them, I have to look into them. Um, that's an acrylic, possibly loose sight, see how they shine. Pretty cool though, I didn't test them to see for sterling, but they're clip earrings. These are Wild Bird, spelt B-Y-R-D-E, I think. Um, and those are bears on these are sterling silver. And in the back it says Wild and then B-Y-R-D-E, I think it's the spelling on it. But they are sterling. They're not extremely heavy, so they would be comfortable. I don't know, they probably weigh like two, three grams each. I didn't weigh them. If somebody asks to buy them ahead of time, I will give you a weight as well. Let me give the price. All right. So, it was, um... I found these I think are pretty nice. There's the back. I didn't test to see if the hooks were gold or something written on them. This part's not, but these possibly are. The wire's the French hook. French wire. Hook. But I think they're nice. They're like a reversed, like a mirror. You can see yourself in them. Upside down. Like they mirror, they put a foil back there I think. And it's, I think these are called mirror glass. They're purple. I think they're rather nice. Um, this is really nice, too. Um, this is... This piece is not sterling, but the other pieces on this are sterling silver. And then I have amethyst on here. There's amethyst, sterling silver pieces in glass. And the one glass... Like, you have these ones that look like crystal balls, kind of. They're glass. This one, look, it looks, it's different colors. Like, you can see purple and blue in it and so forth. It's a nice necklace. Sterling and amethyst pieces all over glass. And that looks like, vit I, I'm calling everything vitriol glass, I feel like. Satiny type of some type of glass. I don't know what it is. If anybody knows, tell me. Um, I'd appreciate it, if you don't mind. All right. There's that. Okay, um, I'll show this in a minute. It's Emma Sky by uh, Howard Friend. Okay, these are um, lovely dichroic glass. Kind of match a bracelet that I have back there. This is sterling silver. In dichroic glass, I was looked it up a, like a couple weeks ago. I was talking to to Gina, and we were discussing some bracelets I found in um. And I looked up to see how old they were when we were talking. And they're actually, dichroic glass jewelry's been around for quite some time. It's not just a new thing. I don't know exact dating on it, but I could look if, if anybody wants to know. Or you can Google it. <laughs> Google it. Very nice, though. Sterling silver and dichroic glass. I think they're nice. Um, I don't know what to think about this. This is Monet. Which party is that? Is, is he an American... Um, he's a politician. <laughs> I don't know. Is that the, the jackass one or whatever? Or the donkey. I'm sorry, the jackass. Hopefully it doesn't go bad on the algorithm there. I don't know. Cool. Donkey. Same thing. It's not a dirty word. Cool little Monet pin. I don't know what this is. A stingray maybe. Some kind of artwork. It's like a resin. Handmade. It's pretty. I think it's pretty. I have a cool one. I'll show it. It's right there. Look at that. Found them in the same location. Look, it's gold plating, I believe, there, and it's like uh, ceramic or, and yeah, and then fired, whatever they call it, when they put it inside the oven, and this is a stingray, right? I would think that's a stingray. I don't know, but the other one. Um, This bright necklace is rather fantastic. It's super long. I don't think there's a clasp on it. This is glass. There's like opaline, opaline kind of glass on here, and it's pearly. It's all pearly. It's all glass. So it's no. It's very long. There is no um, no stone on here. I mean, I didn't test it. I guess I could to make sure, but I think it's all glass. And I think it's rather a nice necklace. It's very long. It's probably over five feet. I didn't measure it right now, but it could. Um, later, this is Swarovski. This needs a bath. I'm gonna wash it. Swarovski crystal. Um, the reason I say that is it looks like it needs wipe done. I will wash it with some water. I won't put any chemicals on it because I'm afraid to ruin it. There's gold plated and crystals. Okay, so there's a swan on there, and those are bezel set, like in, bet in between, you know, being held in by the metal. They're not, it's lovely. It's a Swarovski. 
a modern Swarovski with this one, not the SAO, but nice nonetheless. Look, this, let me show this. This is the Harold Fringe. Now, I learned something. The last time I showed this necklace, I thought the maker was Emma Sky. I can admit I'm a new, I'm new collector and seller. And one of my subscribers pointed it out to me. So I Googled it when I found another set. How lucky, because apparently these are a desirable set. And this is my second set I found. This is in fantastic condition, crystals and stainless steel, Mark DSMK, I believe. And it is Harold Fring, who is a third year, gen third generation jeweler and jewelry designer. It is DSMK stainless steel, it says. This is the Emma Skyline. His daughter was Emma Sky, or is Emma Sky. I don't know the details um, exactly, but I have a necklace and a bracelet. It's my second set that I have found. And this is in great condition. It's lovely. It's like a nice, free-moving kind of mesh, kind of. Okay, so there's the Emma Sky set. That is Harold Fringed. I believe it's how you pronounce it. Okay. I think one of these bracelets are missing a piece of leather, but you can take this out. These are Brighton um, Cristo, I think. I'm not really sure of the the uh, line. I'd have to look. They have like a little marking inside of there. That is the B for Brighton inside of a heart. So this one has leather, and it comes out. You see the leather piece? And then you see they these are like the same bracelet. Probably, I found these days apart in the same location um it was probably a set but i only have a leather lining for one of them so somebody can either just buy one or both and just wear them without it or replace that possibly but they're nice they're cool they're sterling plated brighton jewelry and i think he's sort of cristo line i could be wrong i have to look to make sure i did a quick look um this is american eagle it's one of those like slider necklaces, you know what I mean? And you can make the, um, and it has the American Eagle tag on it. So you can make it shorter or longer. And it has arrows on a bomb. It's pretty cool actually. And that, that's American Eagle. I'll test it. It may be sterling plated. They did used to sell sterling jewelry. I know that because I had a number of pieces that were sterling. They weren't that big though, they were smaller. Okay, these are, I don't know who the maker is on these. These are heavy hair that, like, weighted and just look marvelous. I have to check them out. I love that color. It's kind of like a sea foam, right? Blue. And this is an off-weight. And that's enameling, um, thick enameling. And they're very heavy. I don't see my maker's marks on them. I'm going to look. But I think they're very nice. See, they're, they're heavy. Their quality. Um, this this is an iris, and this is gold plated in the back. At least it looks to be to me. It is called the Cur Colito Original 1982. I think I have to look at it better, but look how pretty. That's like a nice pink enameling there. Um, looks like it's sprayed on there. I don't know exactly what that's called. Okay, these, I don't know what these are either. These are gold-filled. Is that man-made opal, guys? Or is that something else? Looks scaly, almost like dragon scales. I know it's not dragon's breath. I know dragon's breath is a different color. And it doesn't really look like that, right? Does anybody know what it is? It's not plastic. It's a, it almost feels like, it feels like glass. So it's some type of glass, probably, but I don't know what. And these are fantastic. Okay, I bought these together. Somebody probably wore them together with those little... I think these are... They look lucidity. Um, this pulls open and closes. That's plastic and little butterflies all over it. They're very adorable. And then you have this same type of thing pulls open. And, but like the, like a watermelony, like water, I don't know exactly what that color is, but it's cool. Any of that, one flower daisy, these sugar balls and lovely little white daisies all over. Two really lovely, beautiful, I think, plastic necklaces. All right, this is kind of interesting, I thought. Let me show this first. Looks Mila Fury. I think this is jadeite and possibly coral. I have to look at it closer. But that's the combo. This is not glass, I know that. And I think it's copper findings on it, but look. 
There's that necklace. And then I have turquoise and coral, triple strand. There's that. So that's it. That's all. That's, oh, no, it's not. There's some crown trafari earrings. Now I have to see. I may have pieces to pair these up with. I've been trying to collect it again. Um, I mean, I sell it on a regular basis. You know, crown trafari, Monet, whatever I have. So these are crown trafari. These are Trafari TM. These are very nice. These are Paris earrings, Trafari TM. Very nice, don't you think? Red. That is some type of a um, plastic acrylic type of thing. And these are also Crown Trafari. And Emily. Now, I think I may have a necklace that matches something like this. I'll pull it out and see. All right. So that's what I found. Remember, let me know what you liked um, if you're new here. Tell me how you found my channel. I'm curious. Um, thank you for subscribing. I did get a handful of new subscribers over the last couple of days. I suspect it might. I don't know. I don't know how I got them. I'd like to know, though, if you don't mind. Did you just happen upon me when I was live? Did somebody recommend me? Something like that. I'd like to say thank you if somebody recommended me. Um, so, let me know if you want anything. Come tomorrow if you can. 12 p.m. Eastern Time. I got through the jewelry quick. I do give you measurements and so forth and as many details as I possibly can on the jewelry. And I try to sell you the very best that I can at the very lowest prices because isn't that what people want as a bargain? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Have a good day.